Team for Germany makes it four clears from the first 12 of the 38 competitors coming forward. The second rider from Qatar. Earlier we saw Bassem Hassan Mohamed. He had four faults on Rosali Alassila. Now we've got Sheikh Ali bin Khalid Al Thani. Euro California. Just have a look to see what he did. He, he had a clear yesterday. He was the slowest of the clears in that class yesterday. Finished in 26th place. He jumped well in that earlier class too. He jumped a clear. He had a couple of fences down against the clock. But uh, went well. Just to give the viewers one sort of a little snippet there. So he was the slowest clear in the, in the first round of this Rolex FBO World Cup final yesterday. He was clearing 72.58, BZ Man 69.6 to take the class. So, yeah, two and a half seconds split, 26 riders. Qatar has come an awful long way in a relatively short time. They've only been involved in the program for the to my knowledge. It's been 20 and 30 years. I remember going out to shows in, in the Middle East 20 years ago. The Qataris were only just beginning their job then. And uh, riding at very long level. Very keen, very enthusiastic. And enthusiasm and... Uh, Involvement has paid off because they are now, like so many Arab nations in this part of the world, who have been forced, their record proves it, are forced to be reckoned with internationally.